Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2024 Derby City Classic. This is Summerfield Habener here with Railbirds Productions. Brought to you in part by Bad Boys. And we are here in southern Indiana. We got round one action here at the largest one pocket tournament in the world. We got Frankie Ruiz versus Mark Whitaker. Looks like Mark took that leg down and he's going to have the first break. We are playing a race to three one pocket here. One pocket means he's got to make eight balls in his pocket, which will be one of the two feet pocket down where he's racking before his opponent makes eight balls in his pocket. Like I said, round one action here. This is not a traditional bracket style tournament, so they'll be drawn every single round. Everybody's got a chance at one buyback here. And making sure that rack gets set. I wasn't able to make it to Derby City Classic this year, so I am sure excited to see a bunch of these matches. This should be a good one. Uh, Mark Whitaker, coming from the Minnesota area, he's a 563. Frankie Ruiz from up in the Chicago area, he is a 657. And there's no Fargo. And like I said, Mark's from Michigan. Um, and he is, like I said, a 563. Frankie Ruiz coming from Chicago at a 657. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays in. Um, pretty conventional break there, but gets a big, big spread on the balls. Uh, doesn't leak that 12 ball out enough. I don't believe for Frankie to see it, but big opening. And I tell you, Frankie can see straight through to that 11. Mark can turn, the, or Frankie can turn this around pretty quick. All right, tries to play then into the nine. And that's good opportunity here for Mark to get out to an early lead. This first shot's a really important one. You really want to make sure you get behind these balls. And drawn back, that's a big two ball going forward. Got to make sure you get around the 13. So let's see what he decides to do. I kind of like punching this ball and leaning up towards the stack as opposed to trying to get around the two ball. Drawn into it, I feel like I'm just going to get myself stuck. Looks like he's going forward with it. Yeah, it's really easy to catch the backside of that 13 ball and <clears throat> You're almost back in your own trap again. Not sure if he has a clear path for that eight ball or not. Yeah, that's that's a tough opening shot. Oh, looks like he does have enough to play the eight. Not sure if he's got enough to make it, but... It's a good shot. Does a great job protecting the eight ball. Leaves it by his hole. And uses the two ball to protect that ball. I kind of like playing... Even though you don't really want to move your 12 ball, you also don't want to sell the bank for your, your opponent. I kind of like playing off the high side of the 12 and drifting down underneath the eight ball. Frankie looks like he's going to be a little more aggressive here. Alright, so playing up table here. Trying to make that bank, but leaving him doubled up. Catches that point, and that's, that's a pretty unfortunate roll there. You really want to make sure you miss that coming down. And yeah, kind of taunting Mark to take this shot here. It's, if you miss this ball, you end up selling the farm, and it's it's a hard one to not shoot at, especially playing against a player that might have some superior firepower to you. I really am going to try to maintain my advantage here. I kind of like to play off the high side of the five ball and back 
Mm. The 12 ball's pretty big. Yeah. He was right to take his time here. He is using the five. Wow. Man, heck of a shot there. I don't even know what I just saw. But something went in his pocket and something went in Frankie's pocket, but he nailed it. So, excellent play. Yeah, let's see that one again. Wow. 11-9, cut on the eight ball. Ball goes. I'm not sure if that's how he saw it, but that's a magnificent shot. Luckily, that ball fell for Frankie, too. Um, and he's got a bank on the 11 here. All right. A couple nice little shots for Mark there. And he's in pretty good position. So 2-1 marks up to Frankie. Frankie coming back to bat. I don't see any easy offensive opportunity here for Frankie. He'd sure like to get underneath that two ball whenever he can. Yeah, it's a nice shot. So trying to get all the way down table, you kind of want to get to that right side rail and then underneath the two because he definitely sell a bank on the nine if he wants it. You got a viable shot here, but I tell you what, the last thing you want to do is sell the bank right back to Frankie. Yeah, not, not a real great way to get up behind the pack either. You definitely want to protect those balls if you can. Yeah, I can't see the 11 to bank. I don't think he can... If he can see enough of the 5 ball, I kind of like playing... Oh, here he goes. Looks like he is going to try that 11. So tries to play the 11 off the pack. Does a good job moving that 5 ball. Looks like he leaves Frankie a cross bank here, though. Oh, Frankie just moving it out of there. Does a good job. Gets it on his side of the table. Probably just going to move that five ball out of there. Protect your nine. Yeah, Frankie looks like he might have a pretty free bank on this, too. You can kind of draw back, make sure you don't sell the five. Drills it. Gets himself all the way back for that nine ball. Um, yeah, that looks like a double kiss to me. Excellent shot there for Frankie, though. Making it 2-2. Two -two. You definitely got to do something with this nine if you're going to bank it. Or fire it right in your pocket, like he did. Yeah, nice. Bank on this 13 ball. Yeah, just making sure he's not leaving anything in there. All right, and doesn't sell anything back to him either. Yep, two railer on the five doesn't really go. Can try and twist that seven around, but boy, if you clip that one, you can get in trouble.
Yep, getting him all the way himself all the way down table. Yep, nothing clear here. One ball doesn't pass. Probably going to try and drift him all the way down to that foot rail. Looking at the bank chances, but they don't look great. Yeah, I kind of like thinning off the one and just getting them all the way down to that foot rail. Plays the bank, tries to use the stack. Almost gets away with it, but he sold a bank here. Again, you kind of look at that cue ball, one ball, and how it lines up with the high side of that left corner pocket to see if there's a double kiss. Looks pretty kissy to me. He's not even really addressing the bank here. I think he might be able to slip under there, though. Yeah, this is... Play this with high inside. If you can get to that foot rail and it can catch and just slip right out of the way of that one ball. But boy, if, if you miss it, you're going to be selling something. You can also try to stiff that ball, but it's pretty tight. Gonna play in the seven ball. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's got enough of the ball to do that. Yeah, sometimes you just don't have a choice. You might not like the shot, but you gotta do something with it. Looks like he's going to try and get underneath it here. Yeah, tries to twist around it and just doesn't quite get there. Leaves a similar shot here for Mark. Uh, sorry, for Frankie, but I don't think Frankie has the, the chance to get under it. He might try to fire this. And he might try to kick it. I That's twice for me now. <laughs> he's dead in. And Frankie gets that one. Unfortunately, clips that ball trying to come behind it. Just trying to... Looking at pushing things towards his side. Yeah, seven ball bank line is messed up for him. Pretty tough to slip under that 13 ball. I'm not sure what he's going to want to do here. He definitely wants to open those balls up. He's up 4-2. He obviously likes to play aggressive. So I kind of liked what he was looking at at pushing these balls over there and putting himself in the stack. All right. Just moving the 11, putting him on the foot rail. Yep, not enough to bank that 14 ball. Yeah, not a not a huge offensive opportunity here for for Mark either. I kind of like freezing him on a ball here. Uh, maybe play the ten three up and kind of jam up his side of the table a little more. Freeze on the six ball. A lot of people like to. Yeah, I like that. Well, gets it on his side of the table, but unfortunately pocketing that ball. That might work out for him, though. Sometimes spotting those balls can put your opponent in even more trouble. Goes up top. Boy, if he's banking that 10 ball... No, he doesn't have the line for it. Gets a rail, doesn't sell a bank. Well, Mark's got a bank on this uh, two-railer on this uh, left side rail. I think that's a 10 ball. 
Just got to really watch that side pocket on this shot. Hits that ball really nice. Does he get it there, though? Oh, man. Great speed. Gosh, two inches more. That's pretty excellent. One pocket speed. I don't think Frankie's going to try and get that ball out. I think he's probably going to give it to him. Yeah, I think the smartest thing there is just right side rail, 10 ball, onto the foot. There we go. That gets Mark up to three. Might be looking at playing this 14 off the 13. No, just moving the 6, freezing him behind a couple balls. Frankie likes to shoot. Let's see how much he likes this cross bank on the 13. At 4 3, I don't think he can really afford to shoot that ball. I think the bank is there, but you just risk a little too much there. Right now you're looking at a pretty even up table game. Yeah. Just drawing himself down. Does a good job getting him on the rail. Yeah, the further up table those balls get, the more being on that rail really, really helps you out. Yeah, Mark's bank, lane, bank lanes are pretty jammed up over there on the right side of the table. Frankie's got a lot more openings. Yeah, I'm looking at the seven ball too. Looking at drifting over. I just don't want to leave the seven ball in that six three area. When I do that kind of thing, I call it getting cute. Um, I try to get a little too cute, get behind those balls, and take more of a risk than I really needed to on that shot. Because um, yeah, now you leave pretty good opportunity for a spot shot here for Frankie. Trying to get all the way back to that fourteen. It's a beautifully. And yeah, that you just a lot of things can go wrong from there. Fourteen, probably trying to draw back behind the six or just lay up for the bank here. Smart shot. He needs two. Grabbing that extension. Yeah, that's a that's a long stretch here. Ooh, man, oh man, hits that ball pretty good. Nothing doing with that four ball there for his opponent, and he's gonna have to do something with that seven. This is kind of that power one pocket shot. You probably have a chance to play off the high side of the seven side rail and kick it back towards your side of the table, but if it's not a shot you practice, a lot can go wrong from there too. Pretty close, kicks it out of there. Gonna see Frankie bank this five ball. I think he's probably gonna hit this with a lot more control than the last one. He fired that last ball. I think he'll roll this one in. A little tight. And 
Yep, looking at the shot here, it's kind of a free bank on the five ball. It's not the easiest bank to make in the world, but very makeable. It's got to be worry about the intersection with the cue ball here. Should be pretty free, though. Perfect line. Boy, it looked like it was going. Ooh. Uh, fortunately, that three ball might be blocking the spot shot here. That's pretty unfortunate to pocket that ball. But might have got away with it. Yeah. Looks like he's got to play the seven. Going for the two railer here. Oh, wow. That's a nice shot. So trying to play the carom, really focused on getting behind the three ball, moves everything to his side of the table. Uh, really nice shot there by Frankie. Uh, does sell a back cut, though. And that's... I mean, it's it's a beautiful shot and really forces Mark into a corner where he's got to shoot the shot. And you don't necessarily like it, but if it goes well, you got a chance to get back in this game. Yeah, I mean, you've got as good a chance of pocketing that ball as you do at getting safe anywhere here on the table, so... I think that's what I'm doing. But that is a pretty serious back cut also. Yeah, this is pretty do or die here. Play this with some inside, trying to get all the way under there. Does a great job. Even plays the two-way, barely misses that ball, and puts himself in a perfect position. Nice shot, even though he missed that ball. I like playing off the bottom side of the four ball here and trying to get under the seven. He does have a bank on the four ball, but that three ball... Still right there. Depends on how aggressive he wants to get. When I'm at up 6-3, the last thing I want to do is leak a ball and let my opponent get back in. Tries to play that Karen Bank. Good idea. Doesn't execute, but also doesn't sell a shot, so pretty well done. Not sure that he can see enough of that five ball to bank it. I don't think the six ball gets through the five four either. Oh yeah, that was tight. He might have had a line on it though, that was real close. And good opportunity here for Frankie. Pretty stunned he's not going to cut that five ball. I think he's got the line. Or, he's just waiting. Got it. Yep, even though there's quite a bit of room here at Derby City Classic, it's always nice to let your opponent get out of your way with his leg up on the table before you shoot. Yep, two to go. Squeezing that ball in there. And does look like the four passes the six. That'll be ooh, almost game number one. Tough shot here for Mark.
Yep, you really gotta gotta move these balls, and you really want to squat that cue ball. So that's a tough one. Yep, you could. From where you're at here, you could follow that ball in. Um, you don't really want to be working backwards, but. I mean, maybe. I don't even like clipping it going in. I definitely right, like going into the side rail first. Let's see how he hits it. Yeah. That's a tough one. And at this point, Frankie's got his choice of shots to take for the game winning ball. I think he'll probably shoot that four. And Frankie drilling it. That's game number one. Taking it down. And sounds good to me. All right, this program brought to you by Hustlin. JB Custom Cases, Jerry Olivier Custom Cues, Lipman Lights, and Locked and Loaded Custom Billiard Apparel. This is the 2024 Derby City Classic. Like I said, my name's Summerfield Habener, here with Railbirds Productions, and this is Frankie Ruiz to break. Leading one nothing in this race to three. Looks like Frankie's gonna keep his same pocket here. That's a pretty great break. Man. You got a couple balls by your pocket. Big spread. No clear path through. I think you kind of got to play off the one ball here. You can try and kick through that 5-1, but that is no fun at all. I definitely like to play off the one and try and do everything I can to get underneath that 8-ball. It's about your only hope to turn this thing around. Some players look at taking a foul here, but when you're in this much trouble, I don't really like taking a foul. Yeah, if you can kind of draw off that one. Alright. Just getting over there. Blocking the cut on the 8 ball. I don't know that he blocked the cut on the 9 ball, though. Yeah, so you leave a back cut here. I mean, you do force him to take a tougher shot than he'd probably like to in this situation, but that, I mean, this opens up the game right here. Overcuts that ball. Gets away with it, though, in a big way. Man, that's pretty fortunate miss there. At this point, I might look a little more at taking a foul. I also might try to play the 15 up table and get in that 13-14. If you can see enough of that 9 ball to move the 8 and the 9, I might try to do something with that. Yep, that's a nasty break Frankie laid down. Yeah, I think he can see enough of that nine. If you can play the nine into the eight, I like to stop this file with a bunch of high. 
Wow. A great outcome. Really nice shot there from Mark. Moves both those balls out of his pocket. Gets them on his side. Doesn't sell a shot. Nice shooting. Just playing off the two down to that foot rail. Yeah, that's a good layup. Mark really trying to protect that position. Does a good job keeping him close to the rail. Doesn't doesn't leak the 12 ball. Yeah, and boy, Frankie would really like to leave him on that 12 to kind of make him move that ball if he does anything. I think you're going to see a similar shot here. Graze off the 2 and try and get behind the 5 ball to protect the 12. Make sure you don't leak out enough to sell that 10 ball. Good job. Oh, all right. It looks like he's got something to work with. Moving that 8 ball. 8 to the 10. 8 to the 12. Yeah, that's... That's too bad. He really wanted to be tight in on that 5 ball. It does look like he has a pass bank on the 8 ball. If he wants to shoot it. I think he cares more about position on this than just pocketing a ball, though. Plays the bank combo beautifully. Rolls that 12 in front of his pocket. It's a really nice shot. Might leave Frankie kicking here. Okay. Playing the 2, trying to move that 12 ball. Moving the 12 ball right over by his hole. Gets in the pocket. Nice shot by Frankie. I mean, I think that cue ball passes to bank the 12, but you're jacked up over a couple balls there. I mean, you got to do something with it, but that's no fun. I think your most productive shot here is to try and play the 12. I think a lot of players would try and play underneath the 8 and use the 8 ball to kind of guide that ball back in the pocket. Tries to play the combo. Doesn't sell a bank. Pretty good shot. Frankie being pretty patient here. He's probably going to move the 8, 10, and float back down to that rail. Good shot. Yeah, nothing clear here for Mark. Um, kind of looking at bank lanes here. Again, I'm I'm still looking at kissing off that 12 ball and getting getting behind the five, but that didn't work out last time. Kind of pushing that 12 ball all the way up table. 
I move in both. Wow. <laughs> no man. It's a tough spot to scratch from. I like the idea. Probably a little bit aggressive. Um, that could cost him. Tester shot here for Frankie on the one ball. Okay, starting with the 10. It's a nice shot. I tell you, you're playing nine ball and you make that ball, nobody thinks twice about it, but in one pocket, it's it's a little harder. Oh. Nails that ball, busts him open, and just gets stuck in the pack. I tell you, you gotta be a good one pocket player to play good straight pool, and you gotta be a good straight pool player to play good one pocket. Um, that's it's tough getting stuck in that pack, and not sure what he's gonna go from here. Sure doesn't want to give that ball back, but I think he's just got to do something with the 11. Yeah, that's a bummer. Still got a 2 to negative 1 lead. Looks like he's just going to bank that ball up table, float down to the rail. I don't think he wanted to get that far over. Uh, that's a great chance for Mark here to get in the game. Back cut on that four ball. Looks like it leads right into the 13. And can probably play a pretty safe cut here that could open up the game for you. Yeah, I think it was kind of unnecessary for Frankie to leak that far left on that one too. Just got a little careless. Yep, just got to make sure you pocket this ball. Also, don't want to overhit it. Yeah, how you hit that 13 ball is really, really important. Not able to pocket that ball. Gives that advantage right back to Frankie. If you're feeling good about your shot making, I think the eight balls had to start here. If not, I think you start with the 15. Ooh. Man, almost gets away with it, too. That's a heartbreaker. All right, well, Mark Whitaker needs nine of them. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, boy, these are easy ones to take take for granted. You want to make sure that every shot you know what you're doing next. So it's like 14-4. Um, I really like going to the seven ball next. But the sooner you get up table, the sooner you can get that 12-8 in the game and the better chance you got to get out of this rack. It's like he's starting with the four ball. I like the idea. Um, does he get far enough wide? It looks like he's got the 14. This is one where I, I really want to play over and back, so I want to go to that right side rail, left side rail, and cover the seven ball next. He might be looking at the combo, but I'd really like to pluck off everything I could that's out in the open before I think about a combo. Plays the combo, hits it beautifully. Awesome. Yeah, boy, that changes this rack immediately. Pretty straight on that seven. Might play the 13 first. Both those balls look good. Could play any one of these three. Oh, 
that's a heartbreaker. I know the feeling, Mark. All right, he's got to spot one up. And is that going to get in the way of the 14 ball bank? It's a pretty fortunate ball to spot there. Frankie's still looking at it. By looking at trying to bend around that ball, maybe? I don't know. I think I kind of like playing the 13 up table and just drifting down. It's got a cut on the 6, but that's so sharp and you risk so much. I think you kind of got to take a layup here. You definitely don't want to shoot tilted just based on your last miss. Switching that opposite hand. Yep, just moving the balls out of there. I mean, you, you have a bank on this nine ball. It's... It's a tough bank to decide to want to take. But I'm, I'm going to shoot that ball. I really like where the 7 is. I feel like I can shoot that 9 pretty straight, get around the 2. I feel like I got a good chance to work with the 14. He just wants to move the 6, probably float down to the foot rail. Doesn't quite get there. There's a pretty good opportunity for Frankie here too. Frankie can two rail that 14. I like banking this 15 ball and using the 6 1. Yeah, he. Sorry. One rail, excuse me. Easy bank there for Frankie. Looks like he can still. Play this 8 and stay on the right side of the 9 for next. Alright, had more of an angle than I thought. Drifts up for the 15 ball. Might try to nudge this 6-1. Yep, just barely missing that ball. And he's up 4-1. Alright, Mark's got a cut on this one ball. And pretty good opportunity if you can pocket it. A little bit tricky. you got to make sure you, uh, you draw off this one ball. Yeah. And you don't scratch. Really got to look out for this side pocket here if you're going to try and pull out of the way of the 6. It's a nice little nip draw stroke. Uses the six ball, protects the one. Very nice shot. I think Frankie's going to try and fire this bank. Yeah, he's an aggressive player. He's up 4-1. He's seen his opponent miss a couple balls. He feels like that's a good risk to take. Doesn't quite get there. And, all right, important cut here for Mark Whitaker. It's going to come flying out of this, off that foot rail, though. But i got to figure out what you're doing next. I don't think you really want to try to come around the 7. You're going to cut that ball so thin. I kind of like going up and back. So hits that ball just a little bit fat, makes contact with the seven. I'm really trying to overemphasize how thin I hit that one ball to stay on the right side of the seven. I know that feeling all too well. 
Alright, seven to the one. Left himself pretty straight. I don't know if he's got the angle to get up for the nine. Hits it too hard enough. Gets away with it. And even doubles him up on the nine. A couple good shots here. It looks like he can bank that seven ball, use the six as kind of a blocker and maybe get away with that. I think that's probably what I'm gonna shoot. He's got a bank on the one ball also, but definitely kiss opportunity and that nine balls, you gotta make sure you get on the bottom side of that table to not sell a shot. Yep, I like this shot here. Great shot, drills it. Perfect speed. Put himself pretty straight on that nine. If he's trying to dry, he's really gotta watch out for that side pocket. It's got him once before. Might have enough of an angle to go forward on this. And he did, gets around the one, gets around the five. Wow. Nice shot. Gotta be happy with that. Boy, shots like that can really get your momentum going. You're down one nothing, but all of a sudden you're running balls. That feels good to hit the back of the pocket on that one. And then again, you're jacked up over the 13, shooting a long cut on the five. This is a tester for sure. He had room to work around it. That's that's a rough miss. And momentum can disappear just as quickly as it comes. Yeah. Let's see how much Frankie tries to do with this one ball. Got plenty of room to drift up for the six. Needs two of them. Hit this with some low right. Try to get back for that 15 next. Oh, doesn't quite get there. Leaves himself the bank to close. I think he's probably going to stiff this bank. Just fire that in the pocket. If you if you miss, you want to hit it hard enough to get it out of there. It does just that. Nice shot. Frankie needs one. Nothing like needing them all. I don't think you can really afford to try the bank on that 15. If you clip the two, you're in trouble. You're probably gonna leave a spot shot on the five. I really like just making the 11 here and rolling him inside the pocket. Kind of forcing him to take a shot, but you definitely leave him open banks if you do. It's like he can see if he can get himself back in this game. Wow, takes a big risk. If you would have made that ball, it would have been a whole different ball game, but one to go here for Frankie. He's dead in. All right, keeping him alive. Mark Whitaker with one more chance here. I like banking the two ball. I feel like I have a little more room to work. Um, and it's just a more open bank. 13 ball is tight. If I double kiss, I feel like I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. A lot of players hit these straight backs a lot better than me, though, and 
That's what he likes. Just a little wide. Boy, it gets away with it though. Gets the distance muffled by that pocket. Frankie looks like he's kicking under it. No, he's got enough room to just hit it. Pretty unfortunate roll there though. Oh, pretty fortunate roll getting all the way behind that five. I thought it was going to stop and leave him a cut there. 15 ball cuts, but I don't think he can take that risk. I like trying to put him underneath the 11 ball here. If there's any way to leave him in that, the jaws of that pocket and make Frankie shoot, that's what I want to do. Because, yeah, boy, your offensive opportunities are pretty tough going here. Just playing the bank, drifting down, hits that ball really, really well, almost makes it. Nice try there. <laughs> kind of looking at the three railer there. Yeah, I think you're going to run into trouble shooting that one. Just running him up to that head rail. Good job putting him on the rail. Uh, but leaves open bank on the two ball. Leaves a back cut on the one. That back cut's pretty free. Aside from that corner pocket. He's looking at playing the nine. I have a hard time with this bank on the nine from there. Um, you're playing off the rail. I'm, I'm worried about the kiss. Yeah, that, if you can get around it, that's one thing, but that's a tough one to pass, and you don't really have the cue ball to, to try and stiff that. All right, let's see if Frankie can close. That'll be that. Game number two goes to Frankie Ruiz. Mark Whitaker to break. This tournament here, the Derby City Classic, is brought to you by Diamond Billiards Products, right down there in southern Indiana. Simona's Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, kind of the standard out here in the world. Altsville Accurac, AccuStats Video Productions, and Master Billiard Chuck. Thanks so much for tuning in here with Railbirds Productions here at the Derby City Classic. This is round run of the 2024 One Pocket. And Mark Whitaker down 2 nothing in this race to 3. Here to break. Alright, gets a bunch on his side of the table there. Doesn't leak the balls, but leaves a pretty good opening here. Looks like Frankie's kicking two rails into the 11. One into the 11, trying to get behind the 8. Does a pretty good job, too. I am not sure that he can see enough of that 15 to move it. He's definitely got to work. He's got to make sure he doesn't sell that 8 ball to him. Yeah, boy, being hooked on that ball just does so much to put your opponent in, in jeopardy. Really limits what he can and can't shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, it might sound crazy, but I kind of like playing behind the 11-13 here. It's on the wrong side of the table for you, but... I feel like I have a way better chance of really freezing him on a ball and limiting what he can do. He's got a path to that one ball. I didn't think he could get through. 
hold up. Definitely wanted to stay as far left as he could there. Frankie shooting right at that eight ball, moving those balls out. It can't work out much better than that. Watch that 11 ball just float right over there. All the balls clear. Very nice shot. I kind of like banking the five up table and coming back behind the stack there. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, by behind the stack, I guess I meant towards the foot side. I don't know that he has a cut on that seven. Um, yeah, he's if he's got it, he's shooting it, that's for sure. If he can do it, he's really going to try and move that cue ball as well. Oh no, didn't go for him. All right, well, great opportunity here for Mark Whitaker. It's no fun to run balls when you got a ball hanging in your opponent's pocket, but he's got a few easy ones here. Kind of like playing the 15 if I've got enough an angle to get up to the 11 now. And I like to use the 6 to get on the 14. It's pretty straight. Might play 15-6. And pretty straight again here. Could kind of try that same shot, try to draw it all the way back. Really just want to make sure you pocket that ball, though. Oh, man, gets enough of it. All right. Hopefully that nine ball didn't inhibit his ability to, to make that 11. It's tight, though. Looks like he's got it. Not sure he's going to be able to jostle those enough to get back on the right side, though. Right? That 9-3 might be wired off the 12. Not sure if that's worth the risk here. Boy, you're up 3 nothing. So yeah, once you start opening those balls up, he can, he can do a lot with that 7 ball if you miss. Yeah, I I prefer to make the seven ball here and just leave him in the jaws. Otherwise, those three balls just don't mean a whole lot. On the other hand, you make that ball, you got a chance of stealing this game. And that's the other option, is you take a swing at it, you draw back in, hits an excellent two-way shot there. Takes a chance, but makes that ball for Frankie, and leaves him in the jaws. Good shot. Frankie moving the 14. This has got the makings of a long game. You're already moving up table. Nothing really doing here. Mark probably has a bank on this nine ball if he chooses to shoot it, but that's more aggressive than we've seen him be this whole time. Yeah. Just moving those. Frankie's bank lanes are pretty clogged up there. He's got a two railer on the four if he likes it. I, I don't really like risking that shot. Yeah, he'd like to move some of those balls on his side. 
Makes that ball, gets him all the way down. Definitely leaves a cut here. A uh, couple good options here for Mark. I mean, back cut on that one. Looks like you can get to the high side of the 12 and probably not sell a shot if you miss. couple good banks, but it looks like all those banks on the high side of the table are leading into the pack. Yeah, I think I'm going to back cut this one. We haven't seen him have a lot of success with that shot this match so far. But that means he's due to make one of these. You keep letting your opponent practice and they're going to make one on you. And that's the one off there. Gets a nice little nudge on the 12. Yeah, that three ball combo doesn't look like a dream. Not to mention that kind of forces the 10 ball towards the left side of the table if you take it. I don't know... I really like just pocketing this ball and kind of reassessing. You could try to get all the way back to get behind the three here. But again, I just want to make sure I make this ball. I'm up 4-1. I'd love to be up 5-1. And you know Frankie's pretty, pretty bummed he got himself into this situation. Alright, might have the line to get back behind the three of the 13 here. Overcuts it just a little. Almost protects it, too. Yeah. I think Frankie's got a pretty line to clear that ball, though. He's looking at the bank on the three. Pretty confident he can stay within half a diamond on the right side of that table. Boy. A little careless there from Frankie, something we haven't seen that much of. He does shoot pretty quick though. Definitely a more aggressive shooter, so that kind of stuff will happen. Back to nothing, and Mark only needs four here. Gosh, nothing. That 13 ball is definitely in the kitchen. This is... We've seen him try to take one of those thin cuts already, and it cost him that last game. See what he chooses to do. Gosh, you really want to be shooting here, though. Can it move in the three? I guess you can look at the bank on the three and try to come around the pack and foot rail, right side rail, back to the left side of the table, kind of where he's pointing. But. Ooh, that's asking a lot of that shot. I really, for my money, I gotta take the cut on that 12. I know it's tough, but just take your time, line yourself up. But again, that's kind of shooting for one also. I don't know if moving the three is worth selling the 12 for me. Looking at the bank. Look at that shot. Wow. Hits it great. Man, making it happen. That was beautiful, beautiful shot. And get rewarded with the shot on this 13 ball. I like playing the 13 straight here. I think some people are going to play the 13 into the 3, but I just feel like I got a smaller window to make either one of those balls from there. I'm still taking a look at all of them. But yeah, there's just not much doing there with the 9, 10, 4. 
real question is do you do you just leave yourself for the three next or do you try and get back behind the eight five all right yeah let's see that shot Banks that ball protected man beautiful beautiful shot there from Mark Whitaker yep that's highlight reel for him Cranky looking at the removal here. It's a very, very nice bank shot. All right, drills that bank. Pretty big risk there too, but I tell you, you're down 5-1. You don't make that ball. He's got a good chance of getting out of this game. But you make a bank like that, and you're right back in it. Looks like he's drawn... Fires that ball in there. I tell you, this is... He's really turning this game around. That's a big, big shot. Hopefully he can draw back and get up on top of that 4 10, 7. He's got the angle to follow it, but boy, he's really got to push through if he wants to get back behind those balls. We know he likes to draw the ball. I think that's what we'll see. Giving Lee Van his time over on that other table. Alright, had enough of an angle to get down to that foot rail and back up. Hmm. That's a tough one. It's it's hard to not yield to players, especially players that are well known, but that's one when man, you're in the middle of your run. I I probably would have tried to keep shooting there. But very respectful of Frankie also to, to give him a space. But yeah, once you're down on your run, it's nice to yield to the other player. Frankie to try to make it even at 5-5 five five here. Alright, we're going to see left side rail, right side rail, try to get back behind that 8-5. He needs three. Does he get there? Oh, a little high. He's going gonna, gonna to look at the bank on this 14. Two to go. Looks like he's got the line to make this 14, and if he does, probably get underneath the 8-5. It depends on if he makes contact with that 2-ball. Grabs the extension. Yeah, I'm a I'm a more cautious player than a lot of these players out here, but this entire run brought to you in part by that aggressive bank uh, bank that Frankie took and and drilled. So those things really can pay off. Two to go here for Frankie Ruiz with a two nothing lead. Beautiful shot. Oh, a little wide. I thought it was in there. Well, Mark's in trouble. Hits that ball really good. Nice speed. Only needs two. Mark does not have a clear path to get there. Probably looking at the bank on this eight ball and to try and freeze behind the five to block 14. Look at that shot. Does a great job controlling the cue ball. 
Would have liked to have got the eight a little bit closer, but magnificent shot. Let's see. Playing off the one, maybe trying to pocket that two. Trying to get all the way over there, use the eight to protect the 14. Doesn't quite get there. Wow. And man, Mark just got himself out of a spot there. Down 6 5, 2 0. That was a huge shot. I think he's. I kind of like the kick and stick from here. It looks like he's just going to fire at it. Yep, kick and stick. Pretty straight bank here for Frankie. We know he likes to fire those. Worst thing that can happen from here is that you clip the five or catch that point. So hopefully he stays inside there. Whew. Couldn't have been much closer, but doesn't go in for him. I don't really like to force the shot. I really like to soft kick this eight out of there. Make sure to not sell a bank, but just move it a little bit to give myself a little more room to work. So clips it going in, knocks it going out. Excellent shot. Gets it on his side of the table. Can't argue with that. Frankie can bank this ball, and if he stays on the right side, he can kind of double up. Uh, that eight ball passes. Here we go. Just kind of making sure you don't leave a bank. I think you learn about a lot about those shots playing one ball, one pocket. Just the right pos table position to leave your, your opponent an impossible bank. I think he's probably going to go off that eight down to the foot rail. That's what I like anyway. Look out, corner pocket. Look out. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts. Well, that could be all she wrote right there. A couple unfortunate scratches there for Mark Whitaker. Frankie Ruiz, two balls away from this match in this round one Derby City Classic action. Frankie rolling it right down there with ease. For the match. All right, Frankie Ruiz taking this one down against Mark Whitaker. This has been round one action from the 2024 Derby City Classic. My name is Summerfield Habner here with Railbirds Productions. Thanks so much for tuning in. we got a ton more Derby City Classic action coming your way.